So time for the next heat three race of the day. We've got Cadet 9 P's, Cadet 12 P's, and we've got the four banger in the number 27 also out on track. Whoa, we've got a little bit of shenanigans going on. Hang on a minute. Oh no, the four banger's gone dirty for 30. And does a triple salco and a pirouette and eventually I think we'll get it going again. Yes he does, so we've got it back on track. It's all good, we're all good. Okay. All right. <laughs> all righty. On to sinking straight they go and I'll fire the camera up at the uh, timing up in a moment. When they've all gone over the line, I think we might well end up getting the, uh, the full course this time because the four bangers are a fair way behind. I'll just wait till he goes over the line before I uh, try to call everybody because the timing doesn't show me the names until such time. Whoa, slow down, fellas. Uh, we've got some parents who got their heads screwed on to tell them to slow down. I think more should be doing that. If you had some sense about you, you'd all be telling them. All righty, in one. Lachlan Hennock out of two, Marcus Leo from three, Bryce Leo from four, Diago Brophy from five, Cooper Fish in the four SS Cadet, Maxwell Padilla in the Cadet nine P's in one, Nicholas Moran out of two, Xander Watts from three, Jamie Cragg from four, Harry Beaton from five, Oscar Hennock. And they're all going way too fast. The poor old four banger is going to be half a lap behind before they start. <laughs> Somebody slow them down, you buggers. Here we go then. Do we go racing or are they going to get one more? They should have... Baza, you should have slowed them down. <laughs> oh dear. Everyone's just watching them. <laughs> they're flat out. And the poor old four bangers flat out trying to catch up. Somebody learn how to slow cards down, will you? Tell them in the pits. Slow the bloody hell down on your roll-up lap, you fools. <laughs> Here we go then. Hennock, Leo, <laughs> too late for that. Whoa, no, it is, he's got it. <laughs> so we go around the short course. Hennock, Leo, Leo, Brophy, Fish, Padilla, Ro Mort Moran, Watts, Craig, Beaton, Hennock. I'm sure they were all told, <laughs> but it doesn't work every day. I'm gonna switch to all in the one group for now and I'll tell you who wins the classes at the end of the day. <laughs> We've got Lachlan Hennock telling them to slow down. You're the pole sitter, just slow down. Just so slow down. Do we go green? Away we go. We are green and Hennock I'm sure got the whole shot as they all feather themselves through Power Republic into Zach's Motorsport, onto Global Hub, 10 laps of racing for the P-Platers, down racing ears, who they come, Heaven leads them through, and they all go blasting through JG Kart, into Better Benz, now they will come into New Pub, all single file already, but look at this, Cooper Fish is the first so it looks like he might be making moves. He's on the back of Bryce Leo, getting closer and closer. Oh, Bryce Leo nearly lost it. Cooper got balked. Oh, no, they touched. Boy, oh, boy, there's not many on track, but they're touching. You don't want to be doing that in your P-plate race. Down they come then, down Sinkins. Cooper now starting to wind up. The Pulse Tune, Broad Motorsport, number 19. Round he comes, looks to go inside, doesn't make it stick, and the leaders come past me. Hennock, Leo, Brophy, Leo, Fick, Watts, Moran, Grant, Beaton, Hennock, Padilla. Young Harry Beaton in the 35, having fun, and if you've seen him in the pits, he's about a foot tall. I kid you not. He's like a mini me, young Harry Beaton. He's the smallest kid I've ever seen in a cart. He's tiny. Others would put their helmet on him as a stand. He's that small. The kid can drive. Here we go then. Cooper Fish now still hustling. Behind Cooper, Watson Moran. Almost side by side. Heading down onto sinking straight. The pair of them will almost line it up into Pro Power Republic. Down they'll come. And still Cooper Fish trying to make that move. Jagger broke. He's gone quick. He's on track. 50.6. Leo, Brophy goes through. Now the battle. Leo, Fish, Moran, Watts. 
Right behind them still, Watts on, whoa, Watts lost it, oh no, Watts just lost the rear end, and now right behind him, Craig Beaton and Heddock all go through, so now Watts has got work to do, and there goes Padilla, goes through, but look at this, Watts now, he's got Craig Beaton and Heddock all to play for, as they go through Cashies, leaders go down sinking straight, heading into Para Public with Henrik, Leo and Brophy still the front three, but Brophy getting quicker and quicker. The quickest cart on track now though is Lachlan Henrik, the leader, there he goes, Brophy still chasing, down he goes, here comes Leo and Fish right with him, then Moran goes through. Here comes the battle, check it out. Craig, Watts, Beaton and Hennock leading up through though. Young Jamie Craig, hold, still he holds, whoa, no, oh, Craggy, he nearly lost it then. Craggy had almost 45 degrees on it and he dragged it back into line. Boy, oh boy, now they're all upon him, whoa. Almost hustling, do they go, do the DPE chicane. Heading into Cashies, Craig holds them behind him, still Watts, Beaton, Hannah right there with him. All balked onto Cashies and heading down to Pub. Leaders have already gone down. Cooper Fish looking. Cooper Fish, surely. Come on, Cooper. Make a move. Look at him. He's all over the back of Bryce Leo. He should go outside or inside or something. Down he goes into JG Cart. He's going to wait for a mistake, I reckon. And Cooper Fish and Bryce Leo, they've been together all race long. And Cooper Fish still can't find a way through, but clearly he's got the pace to go. Down they go to DPE. Heading, will he make a move now? Does he? No, he still doesn't move over. Still stays where he is. And every time he gets bought coming out, because Bryce Leo, Bryce Leo slows up. And then Cooper Fish gets caught up behind him. If he only changed the line, he'd find a way past. Now this time, almost tries again, doesn't come through. Leaders come past me. Heather, Marcus Leo, Jagger Brophy. Then we wait for this battle and still into Global Hub. Down racing ears. Still Cooper Fish trying to find a way past Bryce Leo. Following them still, Nicholas Moran. Here come one, oh, two have gone off. Two disappeared. Crag continues. Watch continues. But unfortunately, two went off. It must have been Beaton and Hennock. Beaton's got going again. Beaton continues. Oh no, we've lost one. Hennock, he's continued. He gets it going. They pushed him on. So he's allowed to continue. Here he comes. Young Oscar continues on his way. Waiting for the four banger, here he comes and the leader's already gone through. Hennig goes through. Now into P2, Brophy! He's gone to P2! There goes Padilla, so Maxwell has gone through. And still Cooper Fish can't find a way through. But Jagger Brophy, he's got himself up to P2. So Jagger Brophy up to P2, into Cassie's. Down they go into Pub. Still, Hennock, Brophy, Leo, Leo, Fish, Moran, Watts, Craig, Beaton, Hennock, and Padilla is the order with three to go. We'll switch into all class modes in a minute as the leader though comes back towards me. Oh no, off again. That must be Leo. There goes the leader, catching the back marker. Brophy goes through. It was indeed. Marcus Leo went dirty for 30, has been on the grass. Here comes Bryce Leo still, Cooper Fish battling. Still there battling, still he can't find a way past. Cooper Fish is doing everything he can in the Broughton Motorsport number 19 car, but cannot find a way past that number two car of Bryce Leo in front of him. He's going to have to change the tune or... Oh, he's got him! He's got him! Cooper Fish, eventually, he manoeuvred, he got the mistake. And now, Cooper Fish has moved himself up. He will be P4 on track and continues on his way. Meanwhile, the leader, now, 
It's through to Whoa, careful, careful! Oh boy, oh boy! Blue lights are flashing, but they almost didn't get seen for Hennock as he came up on the back of young Oscar Hennock. So we'll switch it back to in the three class modes. So it is in the Cadet 12 P's with one to go after this one. Still, Hennock from Brophy, from Marcus Leo, from Cooper Fish, from Bryce Leo. In the Cadet 9 P's, Moran still leads it from Watts and Craig and Beaton and Hennock. And Padilla continues in the four banger. Moran though, holding his own at that number 77 car and having a cracker. He's in, the, he's in no man's land, leading the way. No one's anywhere near him, but here comes the leader on track with number 99 of Hennock. He will be greeting the jacket flag any moment now. Brophy will be two. Marcus Leo three. Cooper Fish four. Bryce Leo will be five. There is the leader in the ninth, Nicholas Moran. Xander Watts, here he comes, will be two. Jamie Craig, here he comes, will be three, beaten four. Hennock will be five, and it is Cadet 12 P's winner, winner, chicken dinner, Lachlan Hennock, second, Jagger Brophy, third, Marcus Leo, fourth, Cooper Fish, fifth, Bryce Leo. And in the Cadet 9 P's, give it up, winner, winner, chicken dinner, Nicholas Moran. Second, Xander Watts. Third, Jamie Craig. We got the blame from the boys. Well done to the ball. Third was Jamie Craig. Fourth, Harry Beaton. And fifth, Oscar Hennock. And where is the four banger? There he is. He's going over the line now. So Maxwell Padilla heads over and finishes that one off as well. There is young Harry.